Could you ever fathom that Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, or Bernard Arnault are merely strolling in the realm of the rich? Absolutely not. These gentlemen have catapulted themselves to a legendary status, standing shoulder to shoulder with the titans of wealth throughout the annals of history. Now, let's embark on an intriguing journey to explore and unveil the stories of the true heavyweights who've left an indelible mark on the wealth landscape across centuries. John D. Rockefeller When delving into the annals of history's wealthiest individuals, we inevitably encounter faces that become the stuff of dreams for conspiracy theorists worldwide. John D. Rockefeller is precisely one such figure. With a staggering fortune of $341 billion, he held the title of the richest man in his era. Rockefeller's immense wealth found its roots in the coveted black gold, oil. He established Standard Oil, a colossal monopoly that dominated the oil industry in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. His fortune, akin to a river of crude, flowed abundantly into his coffers. When it came to savoring the fruits of his labor, Rockefeller didn't hold back. His opulent lifestyle featured grand mansions, lavish parties, and a penchant for philanthropy that led to endowments for institutions such as the University of Chicago and the Rockefeller Foundation. In terms of possessions, Rockefeller's real estate portfolio was the stuff of dreams. Sprawling estates and palatial homes across the country stood as testaments to his immense wealth and exquisite taste. His philanthropic endeavors, particularly through the Rockefeller Foundation, continue to bear fruit today, impacting various fields worldwide. Comparing Rockefeller to contemporaries like Andrew Carnegie and J.P. Morgan, he emerged as a titan of industry. His unparalleled wealth and influence made his name synonymous with American capitalism. Rockefeller's lifestyle wasn't merely about accumulating wealth. It was a showcase of opulence and grandeur. His extravagant expenditures, philanthropic legacy, and unmatched influence in his era make him a shining star. Yet, he hasn't inspired an exclusive club of the ultra-rich in his name, something our next entry accomplished. Joseph Stalin Must we even introduce the individual with the second-worst mustache in history? Joseph Stalin was the Usain Bolt of orchestrating people's demise, simply unparalleled. He embodied ruthlessness, paranoia, and cruelty. In hindsight, it appears like one of the most effective strategies to accumulate a $7.5 trillion wealth in a communist state where equality should prevail. Stalin's vast wealth, considering his role as the leader of the Soviet Union, seems perplexing at first glance. Legends and rumors have long circulated about secret treasures amassed during his rule. While the exact origins of his fortune remain veiled in mystery, it is believed to have derived from various sources, including confiscated assets, state coffers, and potentially hidden caches of wealth, not to mention the lion's share of spoils after World War II. As for Stalin's purported luxurious lifestyle, it starkly contrasts with the image of a modest Soviet leader. Persistent rumors speak of extravagant palaces, rare art collections, and a pension for the finest things. Some tales even suggest a fleet of luxury cars and a taste for the most exquisite cuisines. Strangely reminiscent of another short-tempered dictator ruling a small country just southeast of Russia. However, differentiating fact from fiction in Stalin's life and wealth proves challenging. His regime was characterized by secrecy and repression making it difficult to verify the extent of his riches or how he spent them. After Stalin's death in 1953, his wealth became a subject of intrigue and speculation. Some claim that the Soviet state absorbed it, while others believe that secret caches remain concealed to this day, awaiting discovery like buried treasure. Being an autocratic leader undoubtedly provides a boost to one's overall funds. And while this dictator's treasury is under question, the one coming up next is a historical fact. Empress Wu Being the richest woman in history should indeed speak volumes, and Empress Wu, the only Chinese empress in history, could be a poster girl for feminists everywhere. 
She defied patriarchal constraints to amass a $16.7 trillion fortune, accounting for about 22% of the global GDP at the time. Empress Wu didn't climb the power ladder by picking flowers in the garden. Legend has it that she navigated a trail of ruthless moves that would make even a Game of Thrones character raise an eyebrow. Tales of child murder and dethroned emperors surround her, although verifying ancient rumors is about as reliable as predicting the weather by gazing at chicken entrails. But enough about her rise to power. What about the moolah? Wu was the mastermind behind China's economy, controlling an empire responsible for a staggering 22% of the world's GDP. To put that in perspective, it's like owning the first seven most powerful economies in the world today. She dabbled in international trade, dealing in tea and silk along the famous Silk Road, turning her empire into an economic powerhouse. As for her spending habits, imagine a shopping spree to end all shopping sprees. Wu's reign was marked by impressive projects, grander than a Vegas casino. Roads, temples, monuments, she built them all, creating a giant sandbox for a ruler with unlimited funds. What made Wu truly unique was her transition from being a concubine to an all-powerful ruler. She kicked her own sons off the throne, akin to a mother growing tired of sharing the Xbox, and made Emperor Gaozong of Tang literally hand her the reins of power. This audacious move earned her the title of Empress, and she even went a step further, establishing her own dynasty, the Zhou Dynasty. So, what happened to all that wealth after her death? Life after Wu wasn't the same. The Zhou dynasty didn't last long, and Wu's successors had their own ideas about ruling. While her rule was prosperous, her legacy was a complicated one, sparking debates among historians. Now let's move forward to one of the most inspiring rulers that ever graced our planet. Of Akbar Thirst. When it comes to living the high life, few in history could match the opulence of Akbar Thirst, the legendary Mughal emperor, ranking third among the world's richest people of all time. Controlling a jaw-dropping 25% of the global GDP during his reign, Akbar was the epitome of living large, with a fortune estimated at an astonishing $21 trillion by today's standards. Akbar's lifestyle transcended the ages, making even 21st century extravagance seem tame. He didn't just build palaces, he created monuments of magnificence that would dwarf Versailles and make it look like a quaint cottage. His palaces in Delhi, Agra, and Fatapur Sikri were not merely lavishly decorated, they dripped with gold, enough to make even a certain former U.S. president's eyes pop. But Akbar wasn't satisfied with adorning his palaces with gold alone. He had an insatiable appetite for the finer things in life. A great patron of the arts, he spent millions on paintings, books, music, and various forms of artistic expression. His court became a melting pot of cultures and ideas, attracting poets, scholars, and artisans from far and wide. What set Akbar apart from many rulers of his time were his forward-thinking policies. He abolished the sectarian tax on Hindus, appointing them to high positions in his government, and celebrated religious diversity. He even attempted to create a new religion, blending elements of Hinduism, Islam, Zoroastrianism, and Christianity, a testament to his commitment to fostering unity and tolerance. Unfortunately, after his death, the traces of his wealth become elusive. Considering the vastness of his empire and the intricacies of its economy, it's challenging to pinpoint exactly where it all went. Some say it trickled down to future generations of rulers, while others believe it was dispersed among the masses. In any case, Akbar's legacy as one of the wealthiest and most enlightened rulers in history lives on. Still, he was only the third wealthiest person in history. So who comes next? Emperor Shenzong. Thriving during the prosperous years of 1067 to 1085 in China's Song Dynasty, Shenzong's influence was unparalleled. Estimates suggest he controlled a staggering 30% of the world's GDP, 
a wealth that could make even the wealthiest billionaires of today blush with envy. In modern terms, his net worth would make Jeff Bezos look like a penny pincher. Considering his immense riches, you might assume that Shenzong lived a life of decadence, surpassing modern luxury. You'd be right. While details of his personal lifestyle are somewhat scarce, one can only imagine that the emperor enjoyed opulence on a level that would make the Kardashians seem thrifty. Palaces adorned with precious jewels, chambers filled with silks and rare artifacts, and banquet tables groaning under the weight of sumptuous feasts. Shenzong didn't just live like a king, he lived like the king of kings. What sets Shenzong apart is that much of his extravagant spending went toward improving the lives of his subjects. His revolutionary policies aimed to alleviate poverty and unemployment, setting the stage for what we would now call a welfare state. However, Shenzong's legacy goes beyond conspicuous consumption and benevolent policies. He was a forward thinker. His innovative tax collection system was centuries ahead of its time, making modern governments seem like amateurs. Centralized governance gave him unprecedented control over the economy and his reign witnessed technological innovations contributing significantly to the empire's wealth. The riches of the Song dynasty didn't just stem from abundant resources, but also from astute governance, with Shenzong at the helm of this economic powerhouse. His legacy endures not only as one of the wealthiest individuals in history, but also as a visionary leader who understood the importance of prosperity for all. While marveling at Shenzong's massive wealth, it's worth noting that when it comes to the richest man in all of history, the wealthiest Chinese emperor appears like a penniless drifter. Mansa Musa Not many individuals in history can claim to be the wealthiest, and there's only one who truly holds that title. The king's wealth is beyond comprehension, and the primary source of the Mali Empire's immense riches was the control and taxation of the gold and salt trade. With ownership of some of the world's most productive gold mines, gold was undeniably the cornerstone of Musa's opulence. The empire also traded in other goods such as ivory, slaves, spices, silks, and ceramics. When Musa took the throne in 1312, the Mali Empire was already flourishing. Musa embarked on a mission to expand the empire, conquering 24 cities and their surrounding territories. One standout conquest was Timbuktu, not just for its economic significance, but also for its transformation into a cultural hub under Musa's rule. Musa's most famous journey was his pilgrimage to Mecca from 1324 to 1325. This religious expedition was the epitome of extravagance, with a seemingly endless caravan comprising thousands of men and animals carrying vast amounts of gold. Musa's generosity knew no bounds as he built mosques along his route, distributing gold and gifts to the poor. However, his lavish spending had unintended consequences, causing rapid inflation and economic collapse in the places he visited. Beyond spending, Musa invested heavily in his empire, constructing mosques, palaces, and universities. Timbuktu became a center of Islamic learning, with examples like the Jinga Mosque, and the University of Sankore, showcasing his architectural endeavors. During Musa's reign, Mali boasted around 400 cities, and its subjects enjoyed a high standard of living with no beggars on the streets and ample food for everyone.